Hey everyone, this is Mike Thompson from Right Foot Down and we're at the North American International Auto Show. I'm here with Anthony Garbus, the product manager for, uh, we have in front of us here the Audi SQ5 and uh, we're just gonna kinda go over the vehicle, Anthony. Sounds good, thanks. So we can start at the, the hood, I guess, yeah. we're open here. <laughs> so it's a brand new V6. Okay. Uh, old car was supercharged, this is an all new motor and this is now a single turbo, okay. uh, six cylinder. Let me pop this off actually. So, oh, wow. you see, massive single turbo that now sits inside of the cylinder bank, and this is good. It's a twin scroll turbo, different runs, and it's also very uh, quick to spool. And so oh, you're nice. hitting 1,370 RPM is where you get all 369 Low pound torque. torque. Wow. So it really moves and gets off the line fast. Zero to 60 is 5.1 seconds for this okay. car. So, that's pretty really good. Quick. And yes. this is the engine that's in the S4 and yeah. S5? So you'll see it around the whole, we call the B9 family. Okay. Uh, so SQ5, S4, S5 Coupe, S5 Sportback, S5 Cabriolet, which we have over here yeah. as well, all share the same uh, brand new motor. And uh, all that horsepower from the, it's a three liter V6 single turbo, Yep. is uh, made it to an eight speed auto. Yep. Is that also a new transmission for this year? Or uh, It's a new transmission, yes. Okay. Uh, we had an eight speed auto in the old SQ5. Okay. Uh, it is new in the uh, S4, S5, because that had an S-Tronic before. Yes. So now we have a eight speed, uh, shorter gear ratios. It oh. shifts virtually without any interruption of power. Okay. Um, and uh, it's very well suited to the mass amounts of torque this makes down low. Okay. So uh, when you drive it, it is one of the best transmissions I've driven. Wow. It's fantastic. Can we talk a little bit yes. about um, like chassis? I know you mentioned the ride height. Yes. So this car here uh, has what we call the S Sport package, okay. which is uh, red brake calipers, okay. uh, sport rear differential, and then uh, adaptive sport uh, air suspension. So you will see it right here, this is about 30 millimeters lower than the car without air suspension. Yeah. And then you can lower it even more when you change the drive select and dynamic. So if you're on the highway and at speed, you can lower it down for better dy driving dynamics. And then if you also want to do any off-roading, you can lift it up into all-road or lift mode. And then you gain about two more inches oh. of ground clearance <laughs> from this. So I mean, it, it really is, you can do everything with the suspension. You have you know, great handling at speed and you have off-road capability when you lift it up. And the the front differential is brake torque vectoring and the rear is so a mechanical? This or? is a self-locking center differential. Okay. It will torque vector uh, through the ABS system. Oh wow. And also in the rear, when you have the sport rear differential, yeah. that is a mechanical differential that can send 100% of the power to the left or right wheel if it needs to. Wow. And uh, in terms of these wheels, yes. I, I know you mentioned these are... Uh, these are 21s. Nice. So this is the plus one upgrade. Okay. Uh, it comes standard on 20 inch wheels. And new for the SQ5 for this year, you can get them on all season tires. Oh, wow. Yep. That is that is quite amazing. You guys have done an incredible job uh, designing this all new SQ5 here. I like it a lot. I think it'll do quite <laughs> well. I mean, as we know, this segment uh, is exploding. Yeah. Uh, there are very many competitors. We've kind of been the benchmark uh, with the Q5. I mean, it became our best-selling vehicle in 2013, just wow. a few years after we launched it for the first time. And so it makes up about a quarter of our sales, about 50,000 uh, a year wow. for the Q5 family. Wow. So uh, it's only going to hopefully keep getting bigger. Yeah, with the, with the all-new design and the new yeah. engine and... New um, chassis, and also we didn't talk uh, the interior. Yeah. Um, yeah. When people tell me, you know, tell me about the Q5, what are like the five things or three things you need to know? It's driving dynamics. Okay definitely improved. Uh, interior space is increased, so especially in the second row. Uh, second row leg room, head room, and then also car capacity is up to 60.4 cubic feet when you fold down the seats. Wow. So versatility is there. And then uh, finally it's technology. So and it's not just technology in terms of, you know, like navigation, which yes, you have the virtual cockpit, and you have new navigation, and yeah. new Audi Connect, and all these features you expect. It's also what we call like safety technology with Precent City, like autonomous emergency braking, which is standard, side assist, which is wow. standard, rear cross traffic assist, when you back <laughs> out, it's standard. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, Precent's rear, if you're about to get rear-ended, it'll tension the seatbelts for you too and carry you for a crash. So all of these things are standard, which is really important to the SUV buyer okay. that you see in this car. So, awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, Anthony, thank right. you so thank much you. for your time. Really Anytime. appreciate it, and congratulations on, on a great you. vehicle here. Thanks. Thank you. And this is Mike Thompson at the North American International Auto Show, and here is the Audi SQ5.